Hi, honey. Honey, do you think that you washing my truck will prove to anyone that you love me? You want to see uh, how I prove? Not this one. Not only this one. No. Oh, you you have an, uh, a better idea in mind than just washing the truck. Yes. Uh, Raise your hands. Uh, Okay, we're, we're going to be doing a video on how we met, but first of all, we're going to do a little bit of a video on where we met, which is inside the BQ Mall right here, so I'm going to show you where I first set eyes on my little darling here. This is the spot right here. Right here. This is the spot at the BQ. Right across from the Jolly Bees. You remember, honey? Yeah, remember the That's Dunkin' it. Donuts are closed. The Dunkin' Donuts is gone. <laughs> okay, honey, come here. All right, so we're we're back here in Alona Beach on Panglao. And so uh, back there in the background uh, is the island of Sikihor. It's a very clear and nice day today. So, honey, um, what are we here to talk about today? We talk about where we meet. Where? Where we met? No, we, sh we, we showed where we met in the BQ. Right up first in how the BQ. How? How? Oh, I how came here in. How? Right, here can, in can you start Alona. to tell now? Yeah, we can start you came, now. You came here to Alona. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Shortly after we met at the BQ, we ended up down here in Alona Beach. We took in BQ and Tagbaran City, the mall that we talk about maybe 10 minutes, 5 minutes, then I, we came here in Alona. Yeah. Yeah. Bada boom, she came back to Alona Beach to my room, but anyways, <laughs> we won't we won't get into the details on that. Yeah. Okay? But, <laughs> but uh, okay, so so how we met? We met we went online. Yes, okay. on dating site. We won't we won't keep the audience in suspense yeah. uh, about this. Okay, we met on Filipino Cupid. Okay, so it's the same dating site. The dating site in yeah. particular was called Filipino Cupid. Yeah. Okay. So we don't need to keep that a secret, right? Secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. It's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we're gonna we're gonna have a seat here and kick back for uh, a few minutes, and we're gonna talk about uh, uh, the dating experience here and a little bit about dating online. So stay tuned. Okay, honey. We. Uh, couldn't find a decent place over on uh, Alona Beach uh, with some shade and uh, a nice quiet spot over there. So uh, we're over here at Momo Beach and uh, well, there's a nice breeze coming in off the sea over here. And so hopefully we'll be able to get into this discussion now. First, I will show you where we're at. Over there we have, what island is that, honey? No, it's Bahal, it's Bahal. That's, that's Bahal over there, and then uh, just to the left of that uh, white boat there, that's, uh, that's Cebu, so this is all Cebu over this way. Just showing you this because it's an unusually clear day here, and it's just beautiful. Alright, so let's get into it. Alright, so, so we met on Filipino Cupid online. And uh, so what I want to say about that is, of course, you have all sorts of uh, websites uh, where you can meet. And uh, so the first thing that I did when I came over here, uh, I signed up on Tinder because I listened to some guy that said, well, you know, everybody's on, on Tinder now and, and that's the best. And so uh, I signed up for that. And I can tell you that that was uh, that was an absolute flop. I mean, I I didn't I did I you know I sent likes out and all that stuff, and I didn't get any response. I didn't. There was no contact whatsoever. I I, I gave up after about a week. I just thought this is ridiculous. This, my intention was always to use Filipino Cupid. So there may be some apprehension because, well, people will say. Gee, there's a lot of scammers on there, and you could probably say the same for for any of those websites. But I will tell you this much: that it's uh, the online scam is all about this. Okay, 
It's about the woman doesn't want to ever meet you in person, okay? What they want to do is they want to steer you right over to WhatsApp, okay? So the first red flag is going to be as soon as you have contact with them, they'll send you their WhatsApp number, all right? And try and get you over there. Then what they want to do is they want to gain your confidence, uh, which may take uh, a few weeks. They'll chat with you online, you and 20 other guys, I suppose. And uh, then they'll hit you up for the money. And uh, so there's the scam. Now, I kind of figure uh, myself that those kind of uh, those kind of women or those kind of profiles are really easy to spot because what it is is uh, number one they'll only have one picture so I, I honestly I wouldn't even look at a profile with one picture one picture and the profiles not filled out it's like absolute bare minimum of whatever information they have to put in there for a uh, for the profile to be accepted and that's it so one picture, no profile information, and then uh, they'll just send you their WhatsApp number, and uh, and that's the scam right there. And they, they never want to meet you. So an honest woman uh, will have a real profile, and she'll have some pictures on there, okay? And she will want to meet you. Now, for that reason, I would say, uh, well, there could be all sorts of different situations. Uh, you know, obviously, when you are contacting somebody online, you do plan on coming to the Philippines sooner or later. Uh, I suppose one situation would be that you plan on coming here and visiting, but not staying. Okay, now my situation was always I'm going to come here and I'm going to stay here. So I didn't have any contact uh, online until I got here, okay? And uh, you will find that, um, you know, it's it's not brain surgery. I mean, don't, don't make more out of it than there is because uh, if a woman's interested, you'll be able to meet her within a few days of, of contacting her. Uh, without any problem, they, they, they won't uh, they won't give you the runaround of any sort. So, uh, all right, honey. Now, why don't you give us your two cents? You were online. You met a guy, and you were talking to him for quite some time. And he gave you the runaround. He said he was going to come here, and he never did. He said he was going to come here, and never did. Right? And all he had to do was come here promise that oh I come this month oh after this month oh next month oh this month after already years always promise already two years they promise oh he come he come he come he come oh you know we hope up Jeff I came three <laughs> days later we met so uh just just get out here and that's you know just showing up that's 99 percent of the task right there you know so uh Anyways, um, yeah, the other thing I want to say, there's, uh, there are some, uh, there's at least one other website, I won't, I won't say the name of it, but uh, uh, some guys online say that uh, they endorse that, and the reason is uh, because, uh, you know, they're making money off of that, all right? So I'm not, I'm not making any money off of this, and as far as I know, they don't, they don't pay anybody, uh, Filipino Cupid. Uh, you know, there's there's that uh, same website, Colombian Cupid, OK Cupid. I don't know, uh, and it's it's going to be the same story all over the place with with the scams and how to pick out a good one and, and all that type of stuff. And then guys talk about uh, other ways of meeting women, meeting women in person. Uh, that's I mean that's great. Uh, I'm. I, I, I'm not the kind of guy that's going to walk around in a, in a mall and just hit on women, but uh, you've seen a few guys like that. When I go to the uh, ATM and she's waiting somewhere, there'll be like a, a guy, handsome guys, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah? Better looking than me. Handsome. Handsome. Come on. Man. 
so uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. It's, you know, if that's what you want to do, uh, have at it. You know, uh, I'm not sure how effective that is. Uh, there's no shortage of women that, that want to meet you online. Uh, would be the point of that. Okay. All right. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about is that once you do find a woman, and let's say you're a geezer like me, 64, and you meet a 32-year-old woman, half of your age. 33. She'll be thir she keeps saying she's 33. She's been saying that for three months now. Her birthday's in about uh, two weeks. I wouldn't push it. I mean, I don't say I'm 65 until I'm actually 65, okay? Yeah. But, uh, so, uh, but the question is, uh, can a, a woman, a young woman, uh, really, truly love uh, an older man? doesn't matter also. Okay. Good. That's yeah. what we want to hear. Yeah, ages, right? ages doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, being from the United States, uh, you know, to um, uh, to to be with uh, a younger woman, that would mean number one, you're you're rich, and number two, she's probably using you for your money, right? And you can just throw both of those things out over here, all right? Um, by virtue of you being able to afford the plane ticket over here and uh, having a decent place to live, uh, okay, well, that means you at least got enough money. And so, uh, you know, as far as the age thing, uh, I mean, we see so many couples, I mean, just all over. And it's, it's, a, it's an older guy and a, and a younger woman and, uh, I can tell you that the people that we've known uh, like that, couples like that, um, there's there's no question that the woman really loves the man. Uh, I mean, she's she's affectionate, obviously towards him. And so, honey, how how can we how can we prove that you truly love me? How I prove I love you? Yeah. Mm, that's, that's, that is not only that here. She cares, she Hope cares you. for me, she cooks, Yeah. she does everything. I, I never felt, she makes me feel like I'm the same age as her. Spoiled. I'm honest to God. Yeah, spoiled, of course. Not the bed, spoiled the, the bed now. Spoiled, spoiled in the table. <laughs> the bed and the table, I'm spoiled all the way around. <laughs> so. <laughs> because I know what is the comment for your subscribers, they're spoiled. Where is it spoiled? In the bed or nothing? <laughs> oh, is that what they said? Oh, oh. <laughs> it's not an either or proposition. <laughs> so, you know, come to the Philippines and, and get spoiled, guys. You know, uh, it's, it's the real deal over here. <laughs> I was in dating site, okay? I was, uh, I was experienced there. They have also a party. Uh, they're looking at Filipina. Sometimes then after they know each other and they say, and I see your boobs, I see your body, you can feel your body like that. Cheap, <laughs> some guys are out for cheap thrills, huh? Yeah, they, they have that in the dating site. They want, they, only they want is about your body. <laughs> yeah. They, huh. yeah, I already experienced that in dating site. I was there oh, in yeah? dating site, yeah. They okay. want the idea. Oh, can, you, can I have your WhatsApp, please? Yeah, then they, I give you a WhatsApp number, then they, they start there and they um, they asking you, can you show your face? Can you show your body? Can you show your like that? <laughs> yeah, I was inspired in that inside. Oh boy! Yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. So, you you do know? Uh, I don't know. Is there a cousin of yours or other uh, women that you know that uh, they, they're looking for foreign guys? Isn't didn't you say there's a cousin of yours? We met her. We ran into her at the mall. Ah, uh, that's my neighbor. That's your neighbor? Yeah, yeah, that's my neighbor. Okay. She's looking a uh, foreigner also. All right. Well, she's been she's been looking for a lot, and she's nice. She's nice. Yeah, oh, she by the way, nice. I wanted to mention that uh, you know all these guys that you see, these old guys with the younger women, uh, they're they're nice looking women. I mean, they're they're, they're not as, as good looking as Joey, of course, but they're not the. I mean, they're not like the husky ones or that. They're they're uh, they're very nice looking. They're very petite, and I would say most of them. Probably, probably in the 20s still, you know. But uh, so, so why does uh, why does a, a Filipino want to date a, a Americano? Which Americano is like a 
It's like a, a term like gringo, you know, it's, oh, it could pertain to anybody that's okay. like a European. I, I may mess up my experience Filipino, okay? Filipino is a lazy woman. They didn't work. That's, that's okay. why they're looking a, a foreigner because they're hardworking. They both are hardworking. A Filipino is hardworking also. If you try, if you're looking for a woman, that hardworking also, not the materialistic woman. Don't look it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't look a materialistic woman because that is, she's lazy. It's better you look a woman from humans. Not in the city. Look for a promise woman. Yeah. So why so why does the Filipina want a Americano guy? Because they like our noses, is that why? They had some. <laughs> they had some seeds. You don't really truly really, you don't if you if you're not treated handsome back home, okay, just just come over here and they'll think you're handsome, trust me. You don't have to truly be handsome. Handsome. Long nose because Filipino is flat nose. <laughs> I had my nose. Fixed, you know, it was like this at one time. My nose is flat nose, that is a Filipino nose. Your nose is as cute as a button. That's a Filipino nose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Alright, so, so you, you want Americano guys for their noses or because uh, they're, they're not poor or yeah, whatever. I don't know. I, if the Filipino, if the foreigner, if the accent me who I am, yes, I like a foreigner, yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're looking for if they accept you who you are, who you yeah, are, that is not. Okay. If you're poor, if you're looking a rich, a uh, foreigner looking a rich, you can go, you can look in, you can go find a rich woman. If you're looking uh, some a woman that poor or not, not so poor, that's poor is a Filipino day three times, that is not poor, okay? okay. That's right. homeless. If you're looking a homeless, you can go to the street. Okay, well, okay, so as far as no money, no honey, all right? <laughs> I mean, if, if you are, if, no if, if you really, if you if you really have no money, I don't think there's a woman anywhere that's really gonna, hey, gonna go for that. Don't you say you that. gotta at least buy her some rice no, and stuff, don't right? Don't say no money, honey, because before we meet, I have a job. Okay, I have a little bit business. Right. Okay. Okay. That's why no money, no honey. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have. Don't say that no money is honey. Because you don't know who I am, yeah. You know already who I am because if you say about money, I have my rice field. <laughs> okay. I can sell my rice field. She okay. Can, she can grow her own rice. I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to fear any rice. <laughs> no you should hear. Money. You should hear her when she doesn't get her rice. No wow. money, no honey. <laughs> Boy, we're sure hot at that beach today, huh, honey? Yeah. Oh, hey, Mike. I'm glad you're here. I got a question for you. All right. Nobody believes that a young, beautiful woman like Jovi could love a old guy like me. So, how do you think that we could convince people that Jovi truly loves me? Because I'm racking my brain here. I can't figure this out. Well, I'm not so sure myself she really loves you. But screw you, Mike. 